All right, so a uh, quick video here. Um, this isn't any sort of video rendering showdown or anything like that, but this is something that I want to talk about mainly due to the fact that the iPhones get super hot, pretty goddamn warm when you start to render video as I'm doing right now through LumaFusion on the iPhone 12 Pro here. It's quite warm. Um, <laughs> And that's literally the only thing I was doing on this phone. Was I just started to render out a video, like maybe 30 seconds into doing it, down rendering it from 4K to 2K. It's um pretty goddamn warm. And this is just a call for Apple to, oh, I don't know, put some sort of goddamn cooling in your phone. I, kn I know. I know, Apple, that you just don't like to have any sort of cooling in your products. I know. I understand. I mean, I don't understand, but I get it. It's a, it's a tried and true position. It's a tried and true tradition to have your devices run super hot because you don't know how to cool stuff, right? I understand it. It's been a, it, it's been a thing on your desktops has been a thing on your laptops it's now a thing on your phones and now i think it's time to stop you make a thousand dollar phones phones that were eight hundred six to seven hundred dollars back when they came out like the lg g8 here have cooling right phones like the g7 have cooling phones like what what other phone can I point to? Note 10. The Note 10 has cooling. So please, for the love of God, tell me. Is it thickness? Because let me show you right now. Before the Apple fanboy comes out, oh, it just makes the phone way too thick. Let me um do this real quick. Brighten it up a little bit. But... As you guys can see, maybe... The G8, for example, is not much, is not that much, if not even really thicker than the iPhone 12 Pro here. Now, a flat frame versus a more rounded frame, you're going to get certain things that look a bit different when it comes to that. But in terms of one phone being thicker than the other because of that thermal cooling. I just don't necessarily see that as the case. So you can't say that less room for battery. Um, one, Apple doesn't put super big batteries in their phones anyway. And two, phones with even bigger batteries tend to be as thin, if not just a tad thicker than what the iPhone is offering here. Let me get my V60. Just to show you guys, I'm going to take it out the case here. Um, the V60 is a chunk. There is no denying that. And it actually looks quite a bit thicker, right? So in theory, it should. I'm trying not to also, I'm also trying to not drop the damn phones. So just keep that in mind. As much more thick as the V60 looks, the camera bump also that is on the iPhone tends to make up the amount of thickness that that, that this phone, that the V60 has over it. Um, so you can't really give me that sort of criticism, that sort of like um, room temperature IQ take when it comes to this. Well, this phone is trying to do emergency dialing but um apple this is a call to action you can't sit here and talk about how let me lower the shutter speed here but um you can't sit here and talk about constantly how your phone is made for professional use how you can record a, a short film on it and all these kind of things when one your phones tend to overexpose images and video quite a bit. 
So I wouldn't even really, t I wouldn't really say that your phones are top notch in terms of those kind of things. Phones tend to do that anyway, but for a phone that is lauded for, oh, it just works. Oh, you can just press record and you can get amazing video right off the bat. N not really, but I'm not really going to get into that. <laughs> in into that in terms of this video, this is more about heat when it comes to the iPhone. It's really weird, right? How these five nanometer chipsets, whether it be the Snapdragon 888 or the Apple A14, are like, <laughs> they're volcanoes pretty much. And it, it just sucks because you don't really get that much power when it comes to the A14. I feel like it's hella gimped. Um, it's because it's it doesn't beat out this phone in terms of video rendering. It doesn't beat out, which by the way is like almost two year old phone at this point. <laughs> it didn't beat out the V sixty. It doesn't. It definitely doesn't beat out the S twenty one Ultra. It doesn't even really beat out the A twelve Z. You know, in the iPad Pro, and to me. That's something that I feel if you're going to have a phone get this hot, at least get at least have it have monster video rendering performance. That's what I could at least say about the S21 Ultra. Sure, it can get warm, especially when you're doing consecutive render renders back to back to back to back. But this phone is just on render one and it's getting <laughs> weirdly warm. And this is something we criticized HTC, both HTC and LG about back with the Snapdragon 810 days, right? With the G Flex 2 and the 1M9. So why isn't it? Why isn't it that we're not talk? Why is it that we're not talking about this when it comes to Apple? <laughs> More people are talking about it when it comes to Samsung, but why aren't people talking about it when it comes to Apple? It's so stupid to me that phones back two years ago. Can render phones can render videos faster and also stay cooler than phones that came out even last year or this year. Um, but overall, that's all I really want to say with this. Apple, get your shit together. Put some or some sort of thermal cooling in your phone, even if, even if it's some cheap method like what Samsung does with copper shielding in their in certain regions. But do something because this is kind of unacceptable for a thousand dollar phone to basically run v quite hot. No, <laughs> this is Sparta. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for support. Hope you guys have a wonderful Thursday, whatever time or day it is in your area. Have a good one.